It's now live. Congresswoman Jill Takuda to talk about the federal response to these wildfires. And Congresswoman, I know you have ties to Maui. I believe you lived there for a time. We wanted to talk to you, first of all, just about the response and if you have any new information to share with us and our viewers today. Thank you, Grace. And, you know, I, I did not live there, but I did work at the Nisei Veterans Memorial Center for some time. And my grandfather spent his childhood there, so it is it's close to all of our hearts. Um, you know, I can tell you that there just isn't enough we can do fast enough right now to help so many that are suffering on Amari community. Um, we had actually been planning before all of this to do a town hall in Kihei on Saturday, August 19th. We have since been quickly pivoting it to bring a lot of our federal partners there on site at the Maui Tech Park this Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. We're getting FEMA to be on site. We're calling and asking for um, passport administration with State Department, Social Security, Veterans Benefits, SBA, um, USPS, Postal Services to all come and help us so that we can open ourselves up to a lot of the, the families, individuals that have been severely impacted by this so they can sign up, um, get help signing up for all of the help right now that we know that they desperately need. And this will be the first, um, so please patience. Uh, but, you know, after going out there and really seeing for myself this past weekend, just the devastation, but also the human impact on this, we've got to start bringing directly, and we have been, but we have to do more to bring those resources directly to people where they're at and get them the help quickly that they need. And speaking to the victims, what did they tell you about their experience? It's been less than a week now. You know, I think for some of them, they're all at different stages of, of processing. And, you know, they, they show you the videos on their phones of what they, they went through. And it's one thing to see it uh, on YouTube or on the news, but to actually see the faces of people who, in, in some cases, are are just so grateful to be alive and at the same time just uh, in pain talking about what they lost others how do i how do i go forward from here you know asking the most basic questions like i don't have a home you know i'm grateful for the food and the shelter here um, but i lost my passports i lost my identification i lost my green card um, how am i going to work they're starting to now at this point really think through what does that future even look like and i think that's where we have to just be the surrounding them with as much help and support as possible i will say this as as well grace the volunteers the support staff on site we have to also su support them as well um, they're taking on a huge emotional burden right now. They do so willingly and every day they go back. But we really also need to make sure that we provide that support, uh, that mental health uh, aspect, that counseling to so many right now who are stepping up for Maui, right there supporting their Maui Ohana. Uh, but they're going to need our help in the long run too. Now you mentioned the public event on Saturday, which I'm sure will be welcome to the people of Maui. In the meantime, though, are there certain services that you want to talk about or tell people about? Communication has been difficult during this time, as you know. And so we want anyone mm -hmm. who's been affected to get the best information that they can. So if you have anything that you wanted to share with them, please do so. Absolutely. And, you know, on our website, we are, you know, working very hard to put the most updated information about resources available that they can go to to, to access everything from they're going to need housing and shelter support. Right now, USDA just approved the disaster SNAP um, and feeding programs for women and children. That is going to be critical. Um, you know, healthcare access, all of these different things, please um, sign up as available. But the reason we're trying to do some on-site things is we know it's not that simple to, to log on to the internet right now. There's varying levels of ability to be able to, to do that. And so really trying to get out more into the community is something I would like to really see us doing. But for the most basic things, the food, the shelter, you know, the access to health care that you need and mental health services you need, that is critical. But we also know this is a long term disaster and tragedy. We will have to provide support on multiple different levels, including making sure that the economic health of Maui County and our islands and our people um, are maintained, too. So uh, this really is about juggling all types of services possible, but the most basic, the food, the shelter, connecting to loved ones. And so we know that has been something we've really been urgent about. How can we help connect people with the loved ones um, that they are looking for? That is absolutely critical right now in, in this particular stage of the disaster and tragedy. Oh, absolutely. One more question for you, Congresswoman. Uh, we know hundreds of FEMA uh, members are have arrived on Maui and are helping out. I know some are even on site. Can you tell us more about what services they're offering in particular? 
you know, FEMA is really doing all the wraparound that they can, literally from just being right there um, in the shelters, helping people to apply, as I said, for the range of supports they'll be able to do from emergency shelter, you know, making sure people have exactly what they need. They've been boots on the ground as we've been doing the assessment and the recovery, bringing recovery teams out here and dogs and everything that's necessary to do what's what we have to do out there in Lahaina. I mean, over 250 people already deployed to Hawaii, that is significant. So I can also tell you that one of the absolute first things, first things we've got to do when we go back to Congress in September is pass supplemental disaster funding for FEMA. We've got to fund FEMA. They're here helping us right now. They need the resources to continue to be here to help us and to address any other disaster in the United States that we should encounter. But we are the priority right now, Jimmy. We've got to fund FEMA so they can keep doing what they're doing right now to support directly one-on-one -on -one our constituents and continue to do so um, as we go through the next weeks, months, quite frankly, years uh, that we'll be needing their help. And just one more time, that you mentioned the public event on Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. Where is that going to be held again? It's going to be at the Maui Tech Park. Um, we know some may not consider it the best location, but literally we are pivoting a, an event we had before, and we're trying to bring all the federal resources we can, warm bodies, to be able to sit with people and help them start to apply um, for those resources and supports that they need now and set them up for the long run as well. So as I said, FEMA, SBA, we're trying to get passports, the post office. I mean, think about all the things that were lost. Think about all the things people need right now. We want to make sure that those resources from the federal level are there so people can start to tap into it. And uh, we're using this as a base to decide, determine what more can we do, again, one-on-one -on -one to start helping people that need it. Yeah, they need every bit of help they can get. Congresswoman Jill Takuda, thanks for joining us here today on Sunrise. Thank you. All right.